Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, divine harbingers of our galactic star family reunions. Happy 1122 portal. Today is a powerful galactic activation portal on the Mayan Zolkin calendar with Keen 73 yellow resonant human. We have multiple white spikes on the Schumann charts today at amplitudes of 24 hertz, 25 hertz and a massive spike at 42 hertz. Fifth dimensional energetics flowing in. As rainbow warriors of the galactic earth tribe of the 144, we rise together as emissaries of the light to bring to this realm our highest codes and symbols of the new Jerusalem. We are the peace, the joy, the love we want to see in the world. We embodied into the simulation as an inside job to bring the energy of the great central sun into this realm for the great transformation of Gaia and all her children. We are now on the quick path as a direct link to Creator to assist all sentient beings in this great awakening into the new heaven upon the new earth. Our divine blueprints within our DNA are connected and resonating with the harmonic frequency of the Universal One. Mother, Father, God commend you for holding strong in these most challenging times. We keep the faith and hope alive for all we do today affects our seven generations into the past and seven generations into the future. We are bringing all timelines into the harmonic convergence of this one true ascension timeline to free all consciousness in all realms and dimensions from the suffering time loops and webs of deception to activate the diamond net of Indra and merge all points of light to the one true light, the great mystery. The Holy Spirit descends into all living hearts of the pure ones to transmit to all life the unconditional love and bliss of the divine source creator. This seals you in the protection of the white flame of the infinite light of the great spirit. All beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas. When Shakyamuni realized that in the heavens and upon the earth, I alone am the world honored one. He brought the keys and codes of freedom into the matrix for all beings born and space and time to awaken from the dream. The I am presence is the stillness in motion, the turning of the wheel of Dharma, the universal truth. The I am is the original spark that brings the heavenly fires into the simulated reality. The holy waters of Divine Mother merge with the holy fire of Divine Father in Heros Gamos to bring all into harmony and the balance of the five elements of Pachamama. Feel the divine union within and manifest it to the external on earth as it is in heaven. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 22 degrees, 40 minutes Leo. The sun is at 7 degrees Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 8 degrees Leo. Glass blowers shape beautiful vases with their controlled breathing. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 23 degrees Leo. A bareback rider in a circus displays her dangerous skill. From astrologyweekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray, Are you ready, finally, to let love have its way with you? to truly let go and to become a true instrument for God's love, to express its glory on earth. For you who are, all of heaven and earth are celebrating you, and if you listen closely, you will hear it. Dance, beloved one, dance in love. Glory, glory, glory be. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. 
and from divine sister of the light, Linda Lee. Dear warriors of love and light, the energies coming to the planet now is a mixture of different energies. There are ascension rays mixed with serious energies and different types of galactic energies. The energies are here to prepare us for the first contact. You may feel the difference. Some may even feel the energies that are strange. That is all normal. They are the energies of the divine. Different planets and star systems, which are the homes of light workers and star seeds. Enjoy the energies and know that it is all part of the divine plan and ascension process. All is well indeed. Divine blessings to you, Linda Lee. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Pars Kute. Truly colossal transformations are waiting for us. We need to realize the full scope of what is happening now on Earth, in the galaxy and the local universe. We are now moving into a completely new dimension in the universe. After the transition, we will help others to ascend to higher realms. After all, we will have a unique experience. We all came here solely for this. Only the strongest, most experienced, and brightest souls are here. We are not this body or even this intelligence. We are part of the source frequency and carry its spark within us. We are admired, watched and followed by our galactic families of light, waiting for our choice. It is time to make a decision, to carry the light and be the light, and or still play the victim. With divine love of one, pars kute. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. With all the Leo energy that is present within the system right now, the moon, the sun, and all the other planets affecting each other, everything is creating a perfect playground for facing our fears and stepping into our power as a lion would do. Not being afraid of the fear as a lamb would be and doing what needs to be done to make it go away. Be bold. Dare to do things in a different way. The Leo New Moon brought up a lot of feelings and emotions, even nostalgia, of the good old times. But now we need to see the ways of being, doing, relating, living that was keeping us small, obedient little lambs, and do what feels right for us. And from Divine Brother of the Light Rick Jewers, update, at this time, being distributed to those that are worthy enough to wield such a powerful divine force are the golden belt of truth, the golden shield of protection, as well as the golden sword of divine justice. These three divine applications may be administered and obtained all at once or individually, depending upon the advancement of the individual as well as the divine role they play in taking the planetary ascension forward. The Golden Belt of Truth is an empowerment of the solar plexus area, which essentially allows no one to lie to you, and also to be able to speak truth from the absolute place of divine authority. As you bring this etheric prowess into your physical operating, energetics may reflect into the physical vessel and be felt in various ways, as well as any of the above three being physically felt. The Shield of Protection is not a fear-initiated force. It is a force that is generated from your purity, which creates an impenetrable shield that wards off negative energetic projections towards you, and hence no negative effect or influence upon your operating energy. This allows you more of a refined focus and alleviates unnecessary trivial negative energy entering your field, so you are not distracted as much from your mission. The Golden Sword is an important divine honorary application given to the individual upon a certain mastery that has advanced one to the level of welding unhindered truth from their essence and through their spoken and written words. Utilizing your sword of divine justice reveals to you the divine energetic support that has you infallible and invincible at aligning the energetics to support divine justice. The sword is not used, neither can it be, with aggression or with any element from the fair spectrum. It is used as a divine statement of authority. These three applications being received and activated within certain divine ones ready, 
both divine feminine and masculine in this now period is indicative to the higher integration of divine authority into the present timeline which propels the planetary ascension forward with an added divine strength you will also see at this time divine ones surrendering the fight mode and trading it for the creation mode which also raises the individual out of the lower consciousness battle and into the most powerful creation where battles do not exist you must walk the straight and narrow with these gifts for any misuse can create a serious backlash upon self as a disciplinary reminder love and light rick jewers and from divine sister of the light celia fen here is something interesting to consider comet neowise the comet is still visible from earth and is still sending galactic frequencies comets as visitors from the solar system and further always bring exotic vibrations and frequencies to the earth these are often quite subtle but deep and galactic i think comet neowise has been a bit of a wake-up call things are shifting and changing on very deep levels right down to the dna as our original angelic and galactic templates are reawakened our ancestors regarded comets as signifiers of great change and the fall of kings and governments so be prepared for some big shifts as the lion's gate opens up physically i find i am feeling what i call deep perturbations or deep level vibration in my body that is often a signifier of very deep shifts also i've been feeling a little nauseous and tired and finding it hard to get to sleep we need to focus on the here and now and on holding love kindness and compassion even when we find people are spinning out and acting irrationally focus on your dreams for the new earth and what you want to create comet neowise is not currently transiting our sun but is in the constellation of draco right now it is visible but not with the naked eye maybe something there about dragons and earth grids and magic and higher dimensions also neo wise is an anagram for the wise one like neo from the matrix the chosen one or christos consciousness 222 coming in and from divine brother of the light bernardo antonacci the lion's gate lessons came from a series of cosmic messages provided by the leonine beings of the royal house of avion a feline syrian genetic line that began its origins on vega within the lyra constellation the felines along with the carrion avian bird tribes have a great deal of vested interest and the ongoing evolution of consciousness being amongst other celestial star systems directly involved as progenitors of the human hybrid ascension process the goddess sashat was the primary terran embodiment of the feline pashat panther race to integrate her mitochondrial genome signature into the post-atlantean third density human dna they continue to provide advancement and knowledge and enlightenment to assist those who are awakening their genetic memories at this time and wish to return to the higher frequencies of galactic consciousness lion's gate represents a period of time when the sun enters the astrological position of the leo constellation between july 23rd and august 22nd the midpoint of this is the opening of an important energy portal the lion's gate on the 8th of august known as the 8 8 this was marked in ancient egypt by the appearance of the sirius star above the horizon at the same time of the annual rising of the nile causing the flood waters to bring life to the dry desert sandy soils it is this time which also presents an opportunity for cosmic energies to begin to flood our own energetic systems as encoded geometries of light light carries structured informational data which can be attuned to and read by those familiar with the key codes of awareness and understanding of light language all frequencies of light carry universal knowledge and it is our current mission to integrate and expand awareness of this cosmic knowledge to take you forward into the higher vibrations known as the fifth dimension polaris a b and from crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy crete message 
All children came here to collectively receive the highest of initiations, the one of the rainbow. This is happening now. The children are becoming living rainbows, learning and experiencing the true nature of themselves and all of their bodies through the rainbow. The children will have prepared to come in conscious wholeness in order to reach the state of the unified light and merge with it. And through the state of the unified light, they'll be able to use space and time continuum that exists in between dimensions in order to move through the dimensions according to their true being's vibration, origin, and will. A new life is here. Can you feel it? It is all about the light. The true, organic, unified, living light of true life. All children are made of it. Erini. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Alex Miles. The Lionsgate portal of energy is officially open now and will stay open until August 12th. Cosmic energy has been amplified and felt immensely intense throughout the whole of July, and this high-frequency energy is going to keep pivoting until it peaks on the 8th of August, due to a connection between the star Sirius, the great central sun, Earth's sun, Earth's grid point, Orion's belt, and the great pyramid of Giza. This alignment is known as the Lion's Gate portal, which is activated when the Earth and the sun align with Sirius, which is approximately 20 times bigger and brighter than the Earth's sun and is known as the spiritual sun. Ancient stargazers believe that due to Sirius and the sun rising and setting at approximately the same time, record-breaking temperatures are reached at many places on Earth. Sirius rises each year during midsummer and is associated with new beginnings, new insights, new light, new awareness, and new thinking and brings with it new levels of conscious awakening. The surge of light waves emanating from Sirius carry an influx of divine wisdom and advanced knowledge from higher realms, known as Ascension Light Codes, that stream toward our planet and when integrated through our energy field are said to awaken our consciousness and activate our DNA. It is thought that while this energy portal is open, Sirius's rays infiltrate planet Earth and help accelerate our personal and spiritual evolution. The connection between Sirius and the Sun intensifies this energy as they each radiate powerful high vibrations. This gifts Earth a brief and rare opportunity, known as a stargate, to absorb the energy from the two brightest and most supercharged celestial bodies in our sky. A stargate is a portal that allows rapid travel between dimensions of two distant locations in the universe. It is a time for life-altering and transformative happenings that encourage us to stop procrastinating and work rapidly toward our goals and dreams. It is known as a beneficial period whereby plans we have been trying to manifest for some time quickly and effortlessly become a reality. As we move towards a major junction in our lives, one that there is no turning back from. Once we cross over the threshold on August 8th, we will be making decisions about major aspects of our life. So the Lion's Gate portal really is a before and after stage. From that date onward, our lives may change beyond recognition. The number 8 is associated with creativity, harmony, abundance, balance, power, and material rewards. And when the number is laid on its side, it is also the symbol for infinity. This means we are at a stage where we have a rare opportunity to receive an influx of spiritual wisdom that offers infinite possibilities and resources to create and maintain a prosperous and abundant life. Therefore, it is most definitely a time to take control of what we want and to passionately put our desires into action. It is recommended to meditate each morning and evening throughout this period to maintain a harmonic vibration so that we are easily able to resonate with and magnetize whatever it is we are hoping to attract and receive. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel, the Divine Feminine is making her presence felt with the Universal Core. And this means that there is a huge forward thrust now as we are being pulled ever deeper into infinite space as we resume our universal and intergalactic rightful place again. 
Heart-centered living is returning, where we do what we love and love what we are doing, and work together within communities of like-minded souls for the greater good of all. All our unique gifts and talents and our loving contributions will be towards co-creating the new golden age with love, no one more than the other, but as equals. We'll go back to co-creating loving and supportive communities 2020 coming in, where we will collectively work together. And nowhere is this going to be more relevant than in the education systems, where there will be no more than seven children assigned to an inspired teacher who nurtures their innate genius from the start. After each of the children had soul readings done at birth, the teaching will bring out the best in these children as individual attention returns and in loving, beautiful, and nurturing environments. The whole old education systems will simply collapse as they are archaic and serve no longer. We are returning to the universities of light, where each soul will be able to tap into their own soul knowledge and records and will then be guided to reach their full potential, each one according to their own inherent genius. There's no more certificates and titles, but rather initiations to see if the soul is mature enough to handle such information, knows how to love to apply this knowledge in co-creative ways for the highest and best and for the highest good of all. More than this, we are returning to free power as the telluric natural energy fields of the earth and that of the universe is utilized organic craft which are amphibious and can be used on earth, in the oceans, and in space. These will be conscious craft and will only respond to those whose soul imprint are programmed into the craft. For the craft are conscious entities. More than this, there will be no governmental or controlling systems. There will be councils, which consist of wise elders, and who are not only wise but loving and have the ability to foresee what is necessary for the greater whole. And thus will be the seers, the visionaries, men and women who are loved, respected, and trusted by all. They, in turn, will represent the new humanity and the intergalactic councils and the intergalactic federation. We will go back to the organic farming, which will consist around communities, supplying them with fresh vegetables and fruit, pesticide and GMO-free, and the whole community will share responsibility for the general well-being of all. Our homes will blend with Mother Earth as huge cities are outdated, and our abodes will incorporate the bounty of Mother Earth as we have forested and vibrant life in and around us, and then deeply connected to Mother Earth and great love and respect for all within her and upon her as we live as one. There will be no hospitals and medical institutions as we will return to vibrant health and vitality and longevity. There will be energy healers and those who work with medicinal plants who will be able to enhance the vitality and new vital life force and prana and who will use liquid crystal tubes for revitalizing when it is needed. These will be souls who genuinely love what they are doing and will work towards the greater good and they will thus find new ways of assisting humanity's vital life forces as they apply space technology which they will gain via the universities of light and the high councils of Sirius, as the intergalactic medical teams are stationed in Sirius. We will work with the animal kingdom, plant, tree, mineral, and all kingdoms on earth, and communicate telepathically with them. There will be no killing of animals as a start to respect all of life, and this will also not strip the earth of minerals, nor will harmful chemicals be used and pollution will be of the past. The split between the old earth and new will be felt increasingly as those already ascending into the 5D. We will be able to live in multidimensionality and will be able to see, to communicate, and to access what those in the 3D cannot do because of their density. Indeed, we will not even need to travel by air any longer as we can easily access remote areas globally and work there without needing to get our physical bodies there. By location, teleportation, telepathy will be the new ways to communicate, and cell phones, etc. will be of the past. Everyone will be able to tune into energy and energy fields, which store information universally, 
and thus download this instantly in their one single eye. Thus know that as from today everything will accelerate, time is no more. Your third eye will now access information it cannot access before, and you will find yourself experiencing multidimensionality more. We can now interact with intergalactic brothers and sisters easily, and we do not need their spacecraft to land. We can simply, via our own soul, access what we need to access and be where we need to be. This applies to loving relationships as well, as many will be reunited with the true divine complement who are living intergalactically and walk with them on earth again, as well as cosmically. We are reclaiming our universal and intergalactic citizenship with love and joy, pure intent, and from henceforth in the new earth, co-creating the new earth with great love. What a time of transfiguration, and what a blessing and gift of divine love this is. The age of love has begun, from JudithKusel.com, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Initiation into your rebirth is completing. It has taken a lot of faith and effort to rise from the ashes and recover from the painful purification process. The mind-heart balance connection is still going through a mending and molding process. Soon they will become one mind and one heart together with your soul and DNA. For now, allow the process of rediscovering yourself to complete. Nurture yourself while this new growth cycle begins. It is important to get stable to feel safe and secure. Once ready, it will become easier to move forward into the oneness field. Seeking forgiveness today will help the mind and emotions settle and see all that transpired from a higher perspective. The truth is still being revealed and accepted, especially in relationships. Continue healing trust issues so you can be more logical about other people's intentions. It's time to be transparent and move on from what is no longer serving you. This decision will come from your divine masculine within and his authority to protect your feminine from any more heartache. This is the choice that is available today through more wisdom showing you the way out. Decisions can be made for you to have a new beginning in love with your new heart, new spirit, and new passion for life. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Alice. Gaia Daily, July 29th through August 1st, Moving Mountains. We have entered the Lion's Gate portal as of yesterday's new moon in Leo. This energy gateway will be open through the first week of August. The sun is in a sweet trine with expansive Jupiter and Aries. We are remembering that we are light and love. Jupiter's turning retrograde today is saying we are on a journey to claim back our life fully lived. Venus has been with Black Moon Lilith and Cancer and is moving into a square with Chiron and Aries today. Venus will also make a trine to the South Node in Scorpio this week. The feminine is facing the dark shadows, hidden deep in the psyche, in order to set herself free. Venus will also be in sextile to Mars and Taurus. Mars is coming up to Uranus in the North Node. This dynamic relationships of planets is trying to jimmy the lock on our existence. A new timeline is trying to snap into place. It is quite a dramatic shift since we have been so far away from optimal. We are moving mountains. Mercury opposite Saturn is not too far out of square with Mars, Uranus, and the nodes of the moon, bringing us a grand fixed cross. We are trying to anchor in something new, but the stubborn status quo is keeping us stuck in old patterns. This activation of Uranus in the nodes is sure to shake up our reality. In Taurus, we are being asked to take good care of ourselves during this activating time, but also take advantage of the quick-moving, seeming chaos as big leaps can be made. From AdrianElise.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Moon and Mercury in Leo square the North Node in Taurus and the South Node in Scorpio. Hey, shouts Mercury, 
Hey, you missed a bit. Oh, no, we didn't, roars the audience. Oh, yes, you did, cries the moon, bouncing onto the stage. The two of them point and tease. You, yes, you at the back, are you paying attention? The audience giggles. The comedy is gold, warm, generous, loving. We blush, smile, acknowledge what we've been thinking, bow to Lady Luna and Jester Mercury. We needed this nudge from the universe, a fleeting scene to remind us that we're always under the spotlight that we have lines to write, connections to make, thoughts to think, ideas to speak, and sometimes there are decisions, a direction we know we must move towards, but we hold back, feign forgetting, trip over the speech, let the understudy do it instead, but we need to follow our gut, look to where we are creating too much drama, connect mind and heart, resolve to release stage fright, challenge imposter syndrome, Use Your Talents, from LeahWhitehorse.com. And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 72, Yellow Resonant Human. Resonant is the name for the number seven, and its keywords are channel, inspire, and attune. Number seven days are all about using your intuition, trusting your gut instincts. We all have this ability, but sadly too often we ignore what we feel. If you look back in your life, I bet you can think of countless incidents where mistakes were made because you didn't listen to your intuition. Listen carefully. Spirit is always trying to send you messages. You just need to tune your receiver. Today is yellow human, which represents wisdom, influence, and free will. The human happens to be the most psychic sign, and so we have a combination of number and day, which are almost identical in meeting. Today is the most powerful psychic day in the Zolkeen. Take advantage of this and tune into the cosmos. You will know exactly what to do today and all the decisions and choices you make will be beneficial if you trust that inner voice. It is subtle so you must chill out and be calm. This fine tuning of your reception will facilitate incoming messages. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Yellow Resonant Human, 7 Abe, Keen 72, 29th of July, 2022, Attuning to Divine Wisdom, 1122 Portal, 29 7, 2022, equal 11 7, 6, equal 11 13, equal 2 4, equal 6, Day Codes, 29 Spiritual Strength Tests, 11 Portal Gate Polarity Illumination, Two twins, partner, romance, twins. Six, heaven, Christ, family, romance, harmony. Month, year codes. Seven, magic, mystic, spiritual, solitude, initiation. Thirteen, cosmic consciousness, natural lore, goddess, mysteries. Four, form, structure, foundation, earth, angelic. Twenty, the awakening, clear vision. Twenty-two, architect of peace, master builder. Keen 72 equal 9, Divine Destiny Portal. A powerful galactic activation portal day aligning with the 1122 Triple Gateway of Galactic Proportions. Another evolutionary day on planet Earth. Day 7 in the White World Bridger Wave Spell of Surrender, Letting Go, Forgiveness, Networking, and Building Bridges. Today we are attuned to spirit through this powerful gateway, channeling messages in order to inspire others, sharing the new opportunities arising to bridge worlds. Tone of creation, resonant tone seven in the emotional realm. Action inspires, power channels, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the new timelines and potentials today as it provides the ability to fine tune and channel the magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. So it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At Tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical Seven understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment, 
that is available to us all. Number seven is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which strengthens our ability to effect real change and transformation in our lives. What channel are you attuned to today? What is possible for you and which potentiality will you choose to energize? Note, the 1122 is a gate to other dimensions. You have a choice today. Which door will you walk through? Many dormant souls will be called into their new missions today, so open your ears and your heart and stay tuned. If you have been wondering what is next for me, spirit, ask the question today. To reveal your new path and open those doors, love is the bridge to spirit, so we walk over that rainbow bridge to find your inspiration, reaching across worlds to allow spirit's calling to be done surrendering fully to listening and channeling messages from spirit our divine purpose is to unite all in one heart of creation divine will is flowing forth very strongly today and the divine plan for earth will be solidified in our current reality bringing the much needed springboard to the new world get ready to dive into a purely divine partnership with spirit we are all but conduits for the divine will to flow through us, open to the magic and be receptive to the voice of God, Goddess. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today's question is how can I attune to divine guidance, channeling wisdom to co-create the most profound potential I can accomplish in this lifetime? Am I ready to walk through the portal to the new world? Divine blessings for your attunement to your bestest ever potential timeline. Go with the path of least resistance. Go with the new earth flow. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 72. Yellow Resonant Human. The mantra the code for today is, I channel in order to influence. Inspiring wisdom. I seal the process of free will with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of flowering. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I would like to thank and welcome back Divine Sister of Delight, Lorelei Fenton, to our tribe on Patreon. And thank you very much, Divine Sister, for your continued support. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a monthly pledge, you can do so to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of Delight, Diana Rose, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art from lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from Divine Sister of the Light Sitara Lutz. Cosmic Astral Insights, number 1651. Redemption comes in a great move forward. Quantum continues to bloom right now. Cosmic partitions are united for human development. Wizards are awakened and taken to their proper place. Cosmic doctors increase contingents at this momentum. Alien technologies are successfully tried. Solar waves are minimized by light forces now. Magnitude elevated is. 
Security forces are operated in advanced protocols. The major laws are connected purposefully right now. Tantrism elevates kundalinis. Connections to the grades of Gaia are manifesting rapidly. Clandestine radiance is suppressed at this momentum. Gaia's purpose continues to be refined. The heavenly guides are revealed. The love of God is victorious. Higher intentions are visualized and consumed. Seminal cavities are recognized. Light portals are eminent as light streams join. Flow with the heart. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed weekend ahead and our journey into this powerful Lionsgate month of August. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.